This is one of several videos on my Arduino Mini BMO. In other videos, I'm gonna I'm gonna detail the build and the software and the Arduino sketch and so forth. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so this is an Arduino Pro Mini, made by SparkFun. Uh, sharp infrared sensor. You've got an Adafruit accelerometer. A music player, you just put an SD card in there. Um, this is a amplifier, and of course there's little speakers on each side. So let's talk parts. So. This case was, of course, 3D printed. I drew up the files myself. You could uh, make the battery cover actually functional. I kind of ran out of room with this size. I've got the, a link to the files on my website, or uh, find a maker space where you can print one, or you can go to Radio Shack and they have these nice enclosures. Like this one is almost the perfect size for a BMO. You can see I've already put some stuff in this little enclosure, so. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You could paint it if you want. So the main reason that I, I made a BMO this size, it's pretty small, is because of the LCD screens I had. These are Nokia 3310 LCD screens. You can get them on just about anywhere, eBay, Adafruit. So 10 bucks, so it's nice and affordable, but I will say that um, making a BMO this small is definitely a challenge. I don't think I'm going to do another one this size. I think next time I'm going to do a use a make a bigger use a bigger LCD screen and get a probably an Arduino Mega because I ran out of I/O. The 13 discrete pins are used and five of the analog pins are used, so completely out of I/O. Um, music player. If you're using a full-size uh, Arduino, Dumilanove, or a Mega, um, Adafruit has a cool shield you might be able to just plug on, and um, I think it probably has an amplifier in it. But anyway, this little guy is a WTV020-SD. So it takes a little a micro SD card, and uh, these are ten bucks or so on eBay. Um, you can get some different versions. SparkFun has a version. And of course, since this thing was tiny, I used this uh, Arduino Pro Mini. A nice little form factor, maybe twenty bucks. Now, if you need to am an amplifier, um, I actually bought. I ran down to uh, the dollar store. And for $10, <laughs> I found this amplifier and I threw it in there. It seems to work really well. Um, you had a little LiPo with it. But there are lots of other options. You could use, um, initially, I built an amplifier out of this. It's a LM386 in. This is a little amplifier chip. Now, it worked great on the breadboard, but when I jammed it in with in that space, uh, whenever the Arduino was running, it, it had a real nasty whine to it. So, these are kind of old old technology here, so... Alright, BMO. You can get, uh, on eBay, you can get little uh, audio amplifiers that <clears throat> should work. Um, these guys pulled a little too much current, in my opinion. Um, it's amazing how much current it pulls when you're when you're running uh, loud music um, or loud audio and it may have something to do with this little guy so anyway um, it was pulling up to an amp <clears throat> so anyway I didn't end up going with these I 
use the amplifier that came out of here but obviously you can do what you want so I have a USB connector for power and if we look in here um, so I, I prototyped this with, on a Arduino Uno and the Uno was able to supply 3.3 volts easily however this little guy is not tough enough to supply enough 3.3 volts for this guy so I've got a little 3.3 volt uh, regulator these little regulators are pretty slick um, they are a couple dollars on eBay so pretty affordable so that's what's running 3.3 volts for my accelerometer and for the uh, music player and the amplifier the Arduino um, is providing its own 3.3 volts. Um, this is a 3.3 volt Arduino, which is important because that way I can hook it directly to the 3.3 volt LCD screen. Um, if you're running a 5 volt Arduino, eh, it's just a mess. You gotta have a little level shifter to drive the LCD screen. And then this um, sharp infrared sensor, distance sensor, provides an analog output. Um, these are about ten dollars, ten or twenty bucks, and these are pretty slick. Um, they call for five volts, but I'm running on three point three seems to work. And then lastly, underneath here, I have a cell phone battery. It's a single cell LiPo battery, so it'll provide about three point eight to four point two volts. Um, I have on the way a little little bitty charger. Uh, you can't just plug power up to a LiPo without blowing them up so yeah, I've got a little charger coming so I should be able to charge it and uh, run run this thing on battery power so um, this is definitely not a beginners project I mean it, it was very challenging to stick all of these components in this little size if I ever do another one I'm definitely going bigger getting a bigger screen and uh, I'm going to make it big enough that I can either put a Beagle Bone Black Raspberry Pi or a Arduino Mega in there. So the Raspberry Pi would be great. You've got audio output, but um, there's not a whole lot of I.O. So you'd have to figure that out. Beagle Bone might be ideal because it's got a lot of I.O. Um, and I think you can play audio out of it. But and when it comes to the distance sensor, this is um, 2Y0A21. I think that's a little shorter range. Here's another one I've got. I forget. One of them goes three or four feet, and one goes four, uh, five or six feet. Just three wires, power, ground, and an analog output. Okay, here I'm printing some information. Um, the infrared distance sensor and two of the accelerometer outputs and um, I'm going to move my hand closer to the unit you can see it changes now I'm going further away so and then uh, when I go up and down Y should move left and right you're just going to see X move more so what we'll do is we're going to take an average of these so it doesn't really matter what they are. We'll take an average and then if the value moves a certain amount then we can trigger something. 